Hello and welcome to the Open Virtual Film Project. In this video, I'm going to be covering the advanced camera included with the project. To do that, I am using the Classic Mansion content from the Epic Marketplace, just as a bit of eye candy in the background. With Unreal Open and an Unreal Scene Open, I'm going to double click into the sub level that I want these cameras to show up in. So in this case, I've got a storyboard sub-level, BSL Mansion, with today's date and my initials, which is useful for tracking as time goes on. And from there, I'm going to click the OVSP plugin button once more. With it open, I'm going to click the camera quick info. And using this tool, I can spawn various different types of cameras using the buttons across the bottom. I'm going to start with the storyboard camera. So this is the camera. Clicking that button spawns it out into the world and sets me a pilot. So like a normal camera, I can move it around WSAD Q&E. Tool on the side. I'm going to call this camera hallway one, and you'll see it puts it into its own folder in the storyboards and names it hallway one. From there, using the simplified details panel on the right here, I can set the camera lens via drop down. So if I wanted this to be an Alexa 65 with a prime DNA 28 millimeter lens, Set the drop down there. Or a 16.9 film back with a 12 millimeter lens. Going down the information in there. These lenses all use a cropped aspect ratio to 239. If, for instance, I wanted all of my camera lenses to be on a 185 ratio, there's my 185. And the tool will automatically calculate the changes in focal length the tool will automatically calculate everything behind the scenes to make sure that what you are seeing in your scene through your camera is what you would get with that film back with that aspect ratio with that lens. So going further down the camera settings, skip most of the things in here because they're kind of niche. The next important one is the camera mode. In the mode, I've got a drop down for standard, which puts in this little burn in, which will save with all of your images, telling you your camera name, the film back used on it, the camera lens used on it, and then if you have any focal distance, f stop, exposure settings, or height off the ground, which sometimes takes a second to update. There's no overlay, which we saw before. It's just no extra effects on it. There is a scene depth view. Very useful if you're an illustrator rendering out images. You want to add in fog afterward or some other effect that requires depth. Directly underneath, there are a few functions for adjusting this depth. Then there's a color by ID function, which requires you to click the setup color by ID and follow the instructions in the Unreal setup video linked in the description. That gives you what is frequently called a clown pass of every object in the scene set as a different color. Again, useful for an illustrator if you're going into something like Photoshop afterward and you want quick selections. Then there's couple of different variations on line drawing. You know, scene color with some line drawing overlays. Or probably my favorite, this ambient occlusion with line drawing look, which just gives this nice, easily discernible seeing the volumes look to your scene. And is really useful for a set designer doing call-outs or something similar to that. And go back to no overlay. 
and jump out of the camera now. With that camera still existing in the world, first thing I'm going to do is go down to the fresh room settings and show my fresh room. You see there's now a piece of 3D geometry of the fresh room with the camera. In the settings there, I can change the length that it shows up as, how opaque it is, and whether or not I'm showing a small focal plane. So if I focus this camera real quick, while my camera's focus is inside the fresh room, you'll see there's this purple plane that appears, and that is the focal point of your camera. And the last thing in the fresh room settings is the ability to show the camera info plate, which gives you the same information that shows up in that burn-in as a separate object. But if you select a little diamond shape, you can move around. And in settings, there's an align function, which means you can align it to several different world views. With the camera selected, I'm going to hide the fresh one once more. So real quick for the next bit of demonstration, I'm going to spawn a second camera, drop it looking that way, and again, leave the camera. So now I have two cameras in the scene. If I select one of them and hit this load selected camera, it'll pull the camera details into this information panel here. Once I have a camera selected, the name will appear across the top. I can pilot the camera, can lock and unlock the camera. If I lock it, I can no longer move it around. If I take a screenshot, screenshot button. It puts that screenshot with the name of the camera, the type of t image that was taken, the film back, and the time it was taken at. It puts it into a folder of today's date inside a folder of the environment name, inside your general screenshots directory. With a screenshot taken, I can then click the Refresh Camera Screenshot button, which will import it. Anytime I select that camera, it will show that screenshot. The last button in this is a button to duplicate the camera, which if I select Duplicate, it will increment the name of the camera which I can then pilot. At the bottom of the window, there is some information that I can save with my cameras. So if I had any information about the shot the camera was associated with, this is, this is 1A, description, looking into the hallway, and waiting for the butler to arrive. And if I had any notes, such as this is a push in over three seconds, that information will be saved in Unreal with this camera. Part of my future development will be making it so that you can then export that information to a third party program to do things like storyboards or camera callouts. Okay, that's it for this video. The part two of this video is going to show the orthographic clip camera included with it.